Hi guys, it's Tampa Tech, and I want to show you this cable tester. It's a Cat5 cable tester, and uh, take a closer look. All right, this is about like maybe 40 bucks or so, so anywhere between 40 and 50 bucks, depends on where you buy it. Um, so the good thing about this is compact, it, and it takes a um, look like a nine volt battery in the back. And this is one part, you plug this in on the other side of the house, and then you take this with you on the um, other side of the house, wherever the other side of the Cat5 cable is, Ethernet cable. So basically, you want to test if the line's good or bad, or if you have to replace the ends or connectors. So you would plug this end in, right here, and you hear the click, all right? And this would be the remote one, that would be on the other side of the house. Say you're on the other side of the house where this part is right here near the router or wherever you're at. And it plugs in like that. So it's kind of like one of these deals. I don't know if you can see that. So it's kind of like that. But it would be like 50 feet away or whatever. Um, or right where the repeater is. Because if it's all longer, usually every uh, three, 400 feet, there might be like one repeater or 100 feet, depends. Uh, I'm gonna test the Cat5 right now. So, you go ahead and hold the button down. It should turn on, right there, power on. And it says pass, all right? And then you can also check one by one. Check one and two, pass. Three and six, pass. Four and five wires, pass. Seven, eight wires, pass. Shield, open. Well, it's open because there's no shield. And that's pretty much it. It's really good, I like it. It's real simpy, simple, easy to use, compact, and uh, Byte Brothers makes it. So if you guys are looking for a cable tester, this is a really good one to get. And I had a clip on it, I could put it on my belt, but that popped off. But you can just throw this bad boy in your tool belt, tool belt and you'd be good to go. All right, thanks for watching. Um, also, oh, one added note I had uh, in the field when I was using these. Um, you want to make sure if you ever get like where it says failed, you want to do this and then wiggle it in, kind of like that. Make sure it's in properly and secure, All right? And just go like that and then retest it. All right. Sometimes it might be a loose connection. You know, dust and grime gets in there from your tool belt or wherever, just using it repeatedly. So, thanks for watching. Post a comment. Subscribe to Tampa Tech. Check out my other YouTube videos, how to fix TVs and tablets and computers and all that cool stuff, and how to install surround sound and TVs. Later, guys.